Hey everyone, once bitten here. This is going to be just a real quick video. Um, in my Google Hangout from August 5th, I was talking with Jerry Parsley about um, a, new, a new technique uh, I picked up using a micro pen. Uh, I've heard people tell me to use micro pens if I want to draw uh, stuff on my banners that you draw it first and um, then you paint it, fill it in, and it makes it easier and looks better. And I've heard people say that if you uh, are putting colors next to each other, like on Bretonian Barding, that if you use a micro pen and or just black anyway, and separate the colors, that it's more forgiving. That when two colors hit up next to each other without a black in between them, that uh, it just doesn't look as good, and it's and your mistakes really stand out. So I bought a micro pen, and the first thing I did um, was to do what what Jerry teased me about, uh, just tracing. But uh, just to clarify and show pictures for what I've what I've done. Uh, I'll give you a few examples. So this is before I did anything. This is what I'm used to my, my halberdiers looking like. And when I was painting these guys, one thing I said was that it was soul crushing. And I realized later that, you know, I painted the, the great swords, uh, just as many of them, and, I, and I, I really enjoyed that process, and I really did not enjoy the, painting the halberdiers. And I think the difference is that when I painted the great swords, as I, as I finished them, I was really happy with how they turned out. And with the halberdiers, I just really wasn't. And it's very demoralizing for me to paint something and not be really happy with it. So um, when I look really closely at these models, I can see some areas where you can tell I, I, just, I just wanted to finish the job. I wasn't paying great attention to detail. But overall, it looks okay. I mean, it doesn't look like I finger painted. Um, the, for the most part, it's a clean look. I've separated the colors, but I've always been a little bit unhappy that it, it one, it doesn't really pop, and two, it just doesn't, there's just something lacking with it. So what I did is I went to, got a micro pen. Now you get those at any art supply store. So I went to Michael's and they have a, a range of, of uh, you know, really fine ones to to less fine, and uh, for the most part with these, I used the the least fine one they had, and I think I would use that for a lot of the shadowing, and I'd probably buy a fine one for eyeballs and stuff like that. But basically, I took the pen and I outlined everything um, where they're where uh, the leather is crossing their back and if, and there's paper. I do it around the paper. I do it around the leather in front of the paper. Uh, if there's satchels, tassels, anything along the belt, I drew a line around it. And it's supposed to be, in some ways, it makes it a little more cartoony, uh, which I usually think is a bad thing. But it, it, I think it makes it pop more. It just makes it look um, like, well, like there's there's shadows there. So this picture actually... I couldn't really get the camera down below enough to uh, get the angle I want, but uh, on the front, whenever they have metal, I, I literally traced around uh, everything. It could be gray, it could be not silver, but bolt gun on bolt gun, and it looks so much better now that I traced around it. Um, I didn't really do anything with the halberd blades. Uh, I did a little bit with faces, separating beards uh, from skin or hats from skin. Um, again, swords, anything like that, I just traced around. Uh, even if you look at the drum and look in the, the red and white uh, piece of cloth hanging in front of it, and I drew a black line separating the red and the yellow, and then I used a black line to fill in the shadows on the gray. Uh, what I did not use it for, for most of them, was um, separating feathers, uh, except for in the middle there's two guys that I did, and you can see their feathers stand out a little bit more than the other ones, but I decided I'm not going to use this technique for that. That'd be a bit too tedious. So overall, that's the difference. I mean, it's not a huge, huge difference, uh, but for me, the one on the left pops a lot more than does the one on the right. So uh, here are my knights. This one, I, I felt there would be less to do because the black metal, I mean, you know, what are you going to do? Um, but I still found that um, using it to separate the feathers, especially red and yellow feathers on the top of their helmets, um, I used it like on the shields where there's a... Uh, a red wreath, and I just I outlined all the different um, uh, leaves or whatever on the le on the wreath, uh, as well as the uh, the skeleton head in it. Again, I used it on faces, between fingers, uh, between bardings. If you look at the uh, the banner on the far left, uh, I used I put a black line wherever the two colors meet, and in the crevices, and whenever there's a um, a, uh, I want to say a stud, a piece of metal uh, in the cloth. I put it around the metal. Uh, that you know, again, I'm blowing these up, uh, these pictures up so much that you're seeing a lot more detail than normally you would. Um, 
And so I can see that there are some areas where I, I did it too much, but for the most part, still, I think it pops. Look at the Battle Standard Bearer standard. Uh, the skeleton thing is holding a shield, and then on the shield there's a, a comet. And so I traced around the comet. I really traced everywhere that I could. This is a view from the side. You can see where I kind of took it. Uh, the front row furthest left, the one we're facing, I actually forgot to do the metal barding on the head, and I did it on all the other ones. But for this pictures, uh, I fixed it since, but for this picture it's good because it kind of shows you the difference. It's not monumental. Uh, when you look up close, you can argue like, eh, it kind of works, it kind of doesn't. But from a distance, again, it, it stands out so much more. Um, outlining the saddles, it made a big difference, but the problem is I broke the finest tipped one I had because uh, I was an idiot. And so I was using a thick, the thicker one, and that's too thick for the saddle. So the one on the back row right, uh, you can see it kind of screwed up. I, c I couldn't quite fill it in. Uh, so that's why I like the idea of having a, a small one and a larger one. If you look at the Battle Standard Bearer, he's front rank, uh, right in the middle. He's got the black barding and then a big gold picture. Uh, using on that was really helpful because before, if whenever I tried to use a black wash, it made everything too dark. Uh, and then when I didn't, uh, there was there was no definition within the skull with all the flames coming out of it. And then with a black pen, I was able to, to write in those shadows. And then Hurricanum, again, every detail I could. So you're not going to see a close-up of it, but if you look at the wheels, you really, really can't tell here. But I, I drew around uh, those, everything on the wheels, uh, traced them all. Uh, this one, the difference was subtle, but every symbol on here I traced around. Um, I didn't do it around all the planets if I didn't feel it made sense, but on some I did. Uh, for instance, if you look on the left, there's a kind of a, a grayish-white one where the crater's in it. Uh, I never could get to stand out. Every time I washed it, it just kind of made everything dark. Uh, so I used the pen and put in the craters. Uh, if you look at the flame at the top, I, I, I uh, made it more pronounced with where the flame connects with the piece of metal. Um, anyway, you can see here and there where I did it uh, with others. And here's a before and after picture. The one on the right I just got from a game, and I know that it's not fair because the lighting is different on them. Um, but there's some ways you, you can tell that, that there's just a subtle difference uh, in the shading. So here's some close-ups. The thing I'm happy with actually was on the barding on the horses. Um, just where the, the red the red things uh, or even the uh, the black cross on the back and those flames coming out of it. Everything being outlined uh, I think makes it pop a lot more. And the stand where uh, a wizard could be standing. Um, even that I kind of screwed up. I got um, I needed the fine tipped when I didn't have it, and I kind of screwed it up, but I'm just going to go back and touch it up. But with that outline, before, that whole thing was just a blah. Like, I never even looked at it. It just kind of mel meshed together. Now, even that with that little bit of outlining, they stand out more. It makes me want to go back, clean it up, and get, do some highlighting on it. And then, I did it on this guy. I really don't like how I painted his, his cape, but... It, um, I took the pen and filled in the recessed areas, like where his arm is outstretched and the shadow below it. Uh, that wasn't nearly that pronounced. And then all the other shadows with white, you know, the, I, I made it black instead of more of a gray. Uh, more important, where I think it really makes a difference is if you look at the the, um, the paper rolled up hanging off his belt and around the leather and everything hanging off his belt, uh, having the lines in between them I think makes a big difference. So here's a pro and con of it, because I'm going to start going back to my Bretonian army and doing it too. The one on the left has the outline and the one on the right doesn't. The one on the left I screwed up on the head. I, I, I used it for shadowing around the jaw and it didn't turn out well and I'm going to repaint that and just use gray for it. And around the eye I was a little heavy handed with it and uh, I don't like how that turned out. Uh, the one on the right uh, I actually did do the, um, I think I had started the saddle and so that actually looks better than it used to already but for the most part you can see the difference between the one on the left and one on the right. Again, not huge but it um, I think makes it pop a little bit more. And so lastly, although I'm much, much happier with how my halberdiers look now than, than how they did before, I still don't think the unit in the army pops as much as I would like it to pop. And I think I need to do something more with their basing to make that happen, and I'm just at a loss of what to do. I thought when I did this, this has three different colors of flock, and then it has some uh, you know, stand-up grass on the base. I thought the yellow flock would would um, stand out with the yellow cloth, and together it would really pop. And it actually do, normally does just the opposite. It kind of kind of fade each other out a little bit. So uh, I'm toying with the idea of going back and doing some more highlighting, making the yellow a little bit brighter, 
I don't want the red brighter, but I might highlight some areas, and it's just tough because I don't want it to be pink, and I don't want it to be orange, and so it's tough to highlight the red. For the most part, I want a dark red look. Um, I'm toying with ideas of things, larger things I can put on the, the bases themselves with a color that really stands out, maybe contrasts a lot with what, that ha with what there is already. So I am open to ideas on that. If anybody has anything they want to suggest, I would certainly appreciate it. So, uh, it, you know, in your comments, I'm open to, to your thoughts on this. I mean, I, I think Jerry kind of, he kind of gave me the impression that he thought it was um, in some ways a retroactive technique, that it's not really done anymore, uh, which, I mean, whatever, that's fine. Um, but if there's better ways to do it, I found that for what I was, for this, it, it worked a lot better than using um, using the, the blend, the washes. Uh, but uh, open to your opinion as well. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it.